In Greece, there is a famous small island named Patmos. About 24 kilometers in length and with a population of under 3,000, Patmos is considered a small paradise by those who visit it. But what is considered a paradise for tourists is often not at all a paradise for some of the abandoned and abused animals of the island. And that is why a small group of animal lovers from various corners of the globe residing here on Patmos decided to form Mondo Cane Animal Welfare Society. It is easy to think that such a small place can't produce a large problem. But its remoteness and lack of an airport and proper travel connections make it very difficult for Mondo Cane to get financial support and volunteers. And without Mondo Cane, these animals would have an equally difficult time escaping their fate. That is why we have created a network with other animal lovers and organizations in the Dodecanese Islands such as Kos and Rhodes and in the capital city of Athens. As beautiful and sunny as the summers are on Patmos, the winters are equally harsh, with cold, wet and very windy weather that becomes torture to any animal kept outdoors without proper housing. This is our shelter today. Put together through hard-earned donations, summer bazaars and recycling old and unwanted materials often pulled out directly from the trash heap, we were able to put together these barely adequate enclosures that at least keep the animals safe from poisoning and abuse until they are rehomed. But winter is coming and what we have here is not adequate for the comfort and health of our shelter animals. As flight partners are reduced throughout the winter months and abandonment cases increase, we are working against the clock to modify our donated shipping container into a kennel and build some elevated, dry and warm housing to ensure we do not lose any animals to the harsh weather conditions of this little rock in the Aegean. In its less than two years in existence, Mondo Cane's team has helped to rescue more than 120 animals, ranging from companion animals to farm animals to wildlife. It is the only organization available on this island and the only means to provide these defenseless and voiceless creatures a sanctuary, a way out and a chance at life. We have campaigned against poisoning, a common population reducing technique used before and after tourist season to eliminate unwanted cats and continue to fight against abuse, being the first to demand the abusers held accountable for their actions. We work to slowly educate a steadily evolving Greek island population on animal welfare issues starting from the youth. We care for those who cannot care for themselves. Your donations will go to help us build kennels to take these rescued animals from the poorly constructed enclosures you have seen here to properly constructed weatherproof kennels and structures, ensuring that they do not suffer in harsh weather conditions while waiting to find their new families. Our successes would not be possible without the generous financial support of people all over the world and organizations in Europe and the people who adopt our animals through them. Won't you please help us make our small corner of the earth better for the animals by giving a donation, no matter how small, or offering one of our rescues a home? You can help us make a difference for them and be part of helping our shelter go from this to this. Thank you.